Welcome back. Inside of the statistics area, you will find GetResponse email analytics. And what you're going to notice is that you can actually sort email analytics for a particular list. And then you can sort that list for messages within that list. You can then take two messages within that same list and you can compare the two one on the left side, one on the right side, so that you can get a sense for how well your email might be performing against others that you have sent. Maybe you want to benchmark against the best email that you've sent. Maybe you want to benchmark against the first email that you've sent with an email analytics that you can actually use. Now, when you are looking at a specific email, if you scroll down, what you'll notice is that in the comparison, you are going to see that there are actions you can take for emails that have been opened and emails that have been clicked. In fact, what you can do is you can tick this box and you can send a message to the people who actually opened your email. You can send a message to the people who have clicked your email and you can actually export them into a list. And you can actually manage the report tab for any or all of your analytical information. You'll see here on the left side menu, it says manage reports. When you click that link, you're going to click create report. And you can give the report a name. So you can say daily activity. You can choose the particular list. And what you can do is you can actually have this information sent to you, showing you the number of subscribers and unsubscribers to your list, or you can actually have a post delivery report. You can have it sent to your email address, or you can have it sent to a particular email address. You can determine the frequency by which you can have this information sent. And this is a great way for you to be able to track what's happening inside of your analytics as well as inside of your account as a whole, whether or not you want to look at your entire account or you want to look at the activity on a particular list. So once you've chosen the kind of report that you want to have sent, you're going to click the save button. And then this report will be delivered to your email address. You can actually go and create as many reports as you like, breaking down the information in ways that are going to help you to analyze what's happening with your email account. It's a very helpful way of actually reading what's happening without having to go in and check the account on a regular basis or even to report to someone else what your email account is doing. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video.